Hi, this is James DL, the inventor of LAMS, here to tell you about a new development with the LAMS software called the LAMS Activity Planner. LAMS is already used by many people around the world. In fact, there's thousands of educators in over 80 countries who use LAMS, and the software is translated into 27 different languages. The LAMS authoring environment is one of the things that LAMS is best known for, a simple environment where teachers can drag and drop activities to create sequences of tasks involving both collaboration and content to help with student learning. The LAMS Activity Planner is a new feature in LAMS that you can see here on the top right of the screen. When you go into a planner, you'll be presented with a number of areas of activities that people can use. The concept for the LAMS Activity Planner is that you can have pre-built templates that have good teaching ideas within them. And so rather than needing to create whole sets of activities from scratch, an educator can quickly choose a template that would suit the kind of teaching they want to use and they'd be able to deploy that with that students, typically in a matter of minutes. Here in this planner, you can see we have three different areas, one for teaching strategies, one for teaching for a specific purpose, and another one for introducing new ideas. Let's have a look inside to see how they work. If I choose the teaching strategies area, you'll see that it goes down into that section of LAMS, and within it, there's a number of different teaching strategies, exploring alternative perspectives, problem-based learning, project studies, and others. These are all different types of pedagogies, different approaches to doing teaching and learning online. And LAMS provides these to you in the planner as things to choose from as a teacher. Let's say I'm interested in this example called Predict, Observe, Explain. It's a particular way of teaching that's often used in science. If I click on that link, it'll then take me to some more detail about this particular type of activity, where students will try and predict what happens in a the scenario. They'll observe what really happens, and then try and explain what's happened and any differences between their original prediction. In this case, I've got two things I can look at. There's some actual examples. These are fully built sequences ready to use. You know, this one's about dropping a hammer and a feather on the moon. Or there's some generic templates that I can use to adapt to my own content area. Let's have a look at the hammer and feather one first. When I go into this, there's a bit more detail and there'll be a number of templates that I can choose from. Here you can see there's a couple of different ones and there's more if we scroll down the screen. If I take just the first one, the basic predict, observe, explain template, there are two things I can do. I can look at the preview to see what this template looks like from the student's point of view, and I can go to the editor where I can edit the content of it as a teacher. If we have a look at the preview first, you'll see in the preview window that the whole LAMP sequence for learners is shown and I can see the sequence of tasks running down the left-hand side and whatever it is that students need to do on the right-hand side. And so this way I can, as the teacher, actually go through and see the whole sequence of activities from a student's point of view to decide whether this is something I might want to use within my teaching. If I close that and go back, the other thing that I can do is look at the editor. This is a new simplified editor that's core to the LAMS Activity Planner. Instead of the traditional LAMS authoring environment, where there are many different activities and many different settings, the LAMS uh, Activity Planner provides a one-page editing environment where only the most important bits of editing for each tool are presented on one scrolling page. Here you can see the editor showing the main things. That's the title of this sequence and then each activity tool as we go down the page. But notice that it's not showing, say, for the first notice board, all of the different settings. It's only showing me here just the particular details of the content for that notice board. So if I wanted to edit the text or to edit the picture, I can do that directly from this interface. If I scroll down, you can see there's another notice board. And then I get to a voting task. And here you can see there are some instructions for what uh, students are meant to do. And then down the page in that section, I have some nominations, so the categories that they'll vote on. And so again, I can just edit directly into those areas without having to edit all of the aspects of the tool. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see there's some question and answer tasks. And then at the bottom of the screen, I have a number of options. If I want to take this sequence and open it up in the full LAMS altering environment, perhaps to edit some of the details or to change the fundamental structure, I can choose to do that from the LAMS planner. I can also export the sequence. So having done the editing, if I want to take the sequence away to use on my local LAMS server, I can do that. I can save it under a different name if I'm creating variations. But most importantly, I can also preview my changes. 
And so if I make some changes here in the one page editor and I hit preview, it will then save those changes immediately for me and open up a preview window so that I can then go and see what would this look like to students. So the idea of the activity planner is to provide pre-built templates for teachers ready to use so that they can be quickly edited and then you know, viewed from a student point of view. You can iterate your uh, editing so you can see differences and then from there be ready to run it with students. You can see here it's loaded up for me now a preview of the version I was just doing and I didn't change anything so it's the same. So that's the basics of the LAMS planner. If we now go back a screen to where I was before where I was choosing the templates, you can see here that I had a number of templates within this area about the hammer and feather example. But if I go back up using the breadcrumbs at the top, I also had a set of generic templates. In this case, and this is the main thing that the activity planner is used for, is to have generic templates, that is a particular pedagogical approach where you as a teacher can then fill in the details about what you want to do. So if I go into that, I can now see a series of generic templates. And again, I've got the preview in the editor. Let's have a look at the editor now for this basic template. The difference with this version is that we've taken out all of the content that was specific to the hammer and feather example. But we've kept the basic pedagogical structure of predict, observe, explain here. So what you can do is you can use this pre-built template for, you know, for the pedagogy of predict, observe, explain, but fill in your own content for your own area. And you'll notice here that we've highlighted in yellow the bits where as a teacher you would edit something. So if I wanted to do a sequence about why was the sky blue, I could type in some details about the things I want students to consider. So I've just typed in a bit of text there to replace the initial part. That will then make up the text of the first notice board. In the second part of the content, I could put in more detail about why I think the sky is blue. I can then provide instructions to students to give a prediction of why they think it's blue, and so on. So I'm able to go through and use this pedagogical structure, much of which I can leave as it is. The section on describing observations, the questions, those things I could leave as is. But the basic detail, the basic content of it is what I put into the editor. Apart from uh, editing generic templates, the editor also provides you uh, with the ability to export and go to full author, as I said. And in the main part of the planner, there's also a search feature. So if I wanted to search for particular areas, let's say I wanted to search for templates that have to do with predicting, I can type in predict and it will then go and search for me to see if there are any activity planners that match that. It does it within the area you're in, so I didn't find any there, but if I go right back up to the top of the planner and now type in another search for predict, it should pick up some area. So it's shown me now uh, a general area in the planner called predict, observe, explain, and also some particular details on this one. So I could go and look at those in more details. That's the first introduction to the LAMS Activity Planner. We'll be providing more information over the coming months and we encourage people to play with it and to give us feedback on how they think it could be used. Thanks.